Let's see how a coil looks. Been a couple of hours since I wound these. I'm gonna leave that on there. <clears throat> so, see how I unwind this wire? And the one that is underneath it. Well, that was the one underneath. So that's what I was trying to explain about when you wind the wires, you want, good dog, what did I wind here? I said six inches, not six feet. Good enough. <coughs> so yeah. Okay. Hmm. If it comes off easy, yeah. Uh oh. There we go. When they print, when anything prints on my printer, anyway. It makes what they call an elephant foot. <clears throat> Just has a little bit of a lip on it where it was laying flat on the bed and that first layer print prints kind of flat. I saw there's ways of fixing that, but it doesn't affect what I do for the most part. So Yeah, I thought I could use the uh, plastic wrap over again, but I don't think I can because it kind of got inside that edge there. Now it's glued to my fingers. All right, so that's a nice looking bobbin. And see how it fits in the hole? It does not fit in the hole. It does. But I'll tell you what. When you have trouble like that, I think that's where regular wood rafts. So it didn't take too much. Ugh, I don't really want to force it in there. Of course I did, but see, I would like to get it where both those wires go right in that slot. That's pretty nice. So it went in there pretty good. <clears throat> Let's do a snother. Yeah, I guess running the drill to wind that up. Oops. I just get out of hand. I don't know what six inches is. Hope I'm staying on the camera with this, you know. Get excited and start taking things apart and forget that where my window is. What am I doing? Yeah, this glue kind of glues right through the but not too bad. I was gonna say it glues right through the plastic wrap, but it's not bad. Sticky.
What is that noise? <coughs> oh, that one came right off. Look at that. Ah, still glue into my finger. Let's see how I did on this one. Good grief. This one's even worse. What I do there? Pull the loop loose. But what I'll do is put it on plastic wrap on a flat surface and put a little glue in there to, to hold it in and uh, press it down so it'll be nice and flat. But these do stick out a little bit. You don't want the rotors rubbing on it. And the way I have these rotors, I made them so that they go nose to nose like that. Yeah, I'll put <clears throat> some glue on that and press it down. So I must have missed the loop when I was winding it. It's the first time that's happened. Well, not the first time, but hasn't happened in a long time. So anyway, there's a pretty good gap there. So once I <clears throat> start assembling it, I'll make sure I center it. But I'll put some glue on that, like I said, and, and flatten them down. One key point is that they're all wound the same direction. And so what you have is a inside wire that, that again on the inside and an outside wire. So they're all going the same direction. If I put the positive voltage on the inside wire and the negative on the outside, I know which direction the flux will go on every one of them it'll be the same way so what I'm going what I'll be doing is wiring these alternating so that they're opposite I'll be we'll get into that a little more later sounds like somebody's using a router doing some woodwork it's been going on for quite a while now uh oh there we go I don't know if I let it dry, if I was to let it dry longer, if it would, um, 
if I would if it wouldn't have pulled that coil out. That's what I'm thinking. For that that one wire. Because it's still pretty gooey, especially on the um, plastic wrap. Okay, note to self, wind them a lot smaller. Let's see if I can get this one in. I love the 3D printing. Still can't get it in. Got one winding really sticking out there. In the worst case, I could probably unwind some of that. So I was saying I love 3D printing. I hate making mistakes with it. You know, I feel like I'm wasting plastic, but I don't know. I mean, this stuff's made out of cornstarch. I don't know if you can actually throw it in the recycle bin or, I mean, throw it in the compost in the backyard. I don't, I don't think you can. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can get away with doing this. Yeah, I think they got it. Yeah, I think that worked good. See, I wound it right up to the edge. This one it looks like I wound it way over the edge too. Not good. I'll have to uh, make sure the next four. I've got to do four more. I can't imagine somebody, what they must be routering. Anyway. Have to say the Gorilla Glue didn't stick near as bad to the cellophane. I might go back to using it. God, look at that. Going crazy gluing my fingers, aren't I? Yeah. All right. 
that, so... Whoa! Pushed it all the way through. I think that'll be okay. God, I gotta go clean the glue off my fingers. Looks pretty darn good. Halfway there.